What's up fam? How are y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tara C. If you're new here, go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Because once you watch one of my videos, technically you already my cousin. So bring it all in and make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Because today's video is going to be one pertaining to a video that I feel like, well pertaining to a subject that I feel like we all can relate to, if not now or at some point in time within our lives. And it is when you decide that you want to wear your natural hair and you don't really know what to do with it and you're just like girl I need some help I want to do something I want to get my hair curly I want to do something to my hair I got you fam I got you first thing that I would like to recommend is some type of deep conditioner and i was in the process of moving from my apartment into my dorm i lost my favorite deep conditioner and that is the myo organics deep conditioner but i found a new deep conditioner that i really really love my L organics will always be my baby i just have to restock on it i haven't had time to go to target and i don't like ordering stuff offline so i have to go to target and pick up some more but I picked this up about a week ago and I must say I get the same consistency that I get from my L organics and it makes my it was about two weeks ago and it makes my hair feel so 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 good you need a deep conditioner and I don't know if it's quite focused like it should be you need a good deep conditioner because your curls flourish from not just putting something on your hair one time people think that is a one and done no you have to take care of your hair on a regular consistent basis or your hair is gonna be dry it ain't gonna be cute and it's gonna be limp curls it ain't gonna even look curly my hair appears so curly because i take care of my hair and that starts with me deep conditioning at least two times a week and don't flip flop between your deep conditioners once you find about two deep conditioners that work stick to the sticks of those two deep conditioners because baby you gonna go broke because most of the time have these products that be advertising don't work like find you about two deep conditioners that you like and run with it this is a good one i really really like this, this is the tgin thank god it's natural honey miracle hair mask it's really really good try it you can find it at sally's um you can find it at target and that's about it i think um, and you can also get it from the website. Next thing that I'm going to say that I feel like everybody should use and I need to put it up is some type of curl maker or some type of like custard. Something that makes your washing goals pop. Because I'm, like, I'm one of those people like I dash some water on my hair. I'm ready to go. But I live in Mississippi and it's hot. So I mean my curls will still be popping. But once I get to the outside and the humidity gets to working in, baby, my hair gets so, so puffy. And it's just like, what? was the point so when you ready like to run out of the house and go especially for college students i recommend that you get you some type of curling gel and i really really like this by camille rose you don't need a lot of this product you only need like a dime size really i know like a lot of times we don't listen to that but with this product you only need a dime size of this because if you use too much it tends to be like i don't know it makes your hair crunchy and i don't like the way it feels on my hair crunchy um if you don't like this and you don't because it's about 23 dollars and if you don't like to pay that much for a product um tgin i really really love their new curl maker it's the bomb it's not called a curl maker but it like it helps curls it's like a curl gel it's bomb as hell so get that and it's only about 13 dollars so try it out but this is one of my faves it's this is like an all-purpose for guys to guys message me just as much as females asking me how do you get your hair so curly and i always tell them to get something like this because guys are more likely to put some of this on because this don't seem like it's a lot of work so basically all you do is sweat it in your hand and, and they gone guys guys will go for something like this females they they will sit and take the time to do something like this don't let product go waste We'll sit and take the time to get to know products and to use them and go through all these steps. But guys, just like, alright, I just want something to go on my hair. So this is really good. What's your hair? Put a little bit on this. Go. The next thing that I would like to recommend is this here. I don't know, my focus is not working. I got a new lens on my camera. It's the Camille Rose's Natural Almond Twisting Butter. 
and it is bomb.com i recommend to everybody to get some type of twisting gel or butter or whatever you want to call it because it really comes in handy um a lot of people like to do like protective styles and but they don't want to pay the money for it so you can twist your hair out and do mini twists and that's like a two-in-one style because you can either wear it in the mini twist or you can take it down and then you'll have a bum ass twist out. And if you're somebody like me who doesn't know how to braid and you want to like still do protective styles, do you a wig, make your wig and put your hair like in twists, like twist it up in mini twists and put it under your wig and then just like get a little leave out because that's what I do for my wigs. Like I have my hair twisted underneath this and just like the front out and when I take the wig down at night, I twist my hair back up so it's like protected at night time. So um, these twists and butters are really, really handy because they have your hair super moist and again, like Camille Rose, she is clutch when it comes to packing the moisture and not needing a lot of product when it comes to um using her stuff you don't need a lot of her stuff for it to go a long way a little goes a long way with this and this is perfect for guys and girls this is something that i started off with i didn't start out with this brand because this brand is a bit pricey but it's worth it but i did start off by using you know other twist out butters like twisting butters um if you want another good twisting brand you can try out curls i know they have a, a twisting um i have not used it personally but a lot of my natural friends tell me it's dope so try that out and it's again cheaper than using this but i recommend if you just want something you want to go you want to be on top like yeah 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 my twist outs bomb my twist outs used to suck and used to really be ugly until i use this product the most important thing i think you need is some type of oil and like heavy oils like coconut oil i know everybody says coconut oil fixes all their problems but coconut oil makes all my problems be 10 times worse so I have to use like light oils and one of my faves that I recommend to everybody is the Myel Organic Smith Almond Oil. This is my product. If you look on my side of the dorm room, I know my roommate probably be looking at me crazy because I got six bottles of these. I stock up on these and it got hair on it so you can tell I use it. I stock up on this product and use it literally every day i have like one of these huge like spray bottles and i put like majority of water in at the top i mix the oil in it and i spray it on my hair every morning regardless it don't matter if i have a wash and go i have braids i had like locks for like a month and a half and i had it in my hair and i contribute a lot of my growth to using this product like this makes your hair grow and when it comes to the lco method or the loc method you can use all these products in rotation and if you don't know what lco is is what i like to use and it's a leave-in which can be a leave -in. you can use water or technically a leave-in and then it's cream which i use um something i can use this you can use this and then you like mix it all up with the oil this is the last thing you put in and then the loc method is when you use a leave-in you know that is it can be used as water and then you use oil and then you use a cream either or you always gonna need an oil and oil really helps your growth you don't need a lot of oil to see results in your hair but you need it to see like your hair to be i don't know like flourishing and growing and healthy like when i put this oil on my hair i be feeling like i'm a model and just to review everything that we went over the first thing we went over is what i say is most important is a deep conditioner deep conditioner really helps your hair thrive and grow like if you like don't deep condition and then you start deep conditioning you're really gonna see a difference in your hair i have a friend now and like she bleached her hair and she was like tell i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i feel like i'm gonna really have to cut my hair off and i told her start deep conditioning twice a week and she was just like tear this the best thing ever because i really feel like i had no other choice but to cut my hair off because my hair was not curly like it was not curly no more it just was looking crazy and i was looking at your snapchat videos like tear hair is always like looking nice and that's because no matter how tired i am no matter how tired i am no matter what i got going on in my life i always make time to deep condition my hair it is essential you cannot get around that find you a good deep conditioner today 
the next thing I suggested is this this is um, a curling gel it's for the lazy naturals you can use it for wash and goes and you can also use it to moisturize your hair you want popping curls get you one of these it's a put it on go bye um, I recommend this a lot to guys who ask me how to get their hair curly. When I had very, very short hair when I was in my fade days, I would give me one of them little sponges, wet my hair, then wet the sponge a little bit so it would be damp. Put this on there, rub it around. Look like my hair just like was supposed to be like, I, you couldn't tell me nothing. Like, I was just like, I'm popping. You can't tell me nothing. Feeling myself. Like, I just thought I was so cool. Like, having my... No, I'm getting off subject. Um, and the next thing that I would recommend, um, my camera is not focused. Okay, it's focused. Uh, the next thing that I would recommend is a twisting butter because, like I said, twist outs are bomb. It's easy. It doesn't require anybody to do any work. You basically get your hair, to get a one big piece of hair, split it in two, and twist it together, and twirl the ends together when you get it at the bottom. Anybody can do it and it's one and two you can even use it for your protective styles and your wigs and the last thing that i recommended is finding you some type of oil and i want to say that i always recommend recommend mint oil by the mint almond oil by male my Il organics but honestly when it comes to a lot of stuff you just have to play trial and error because at one point coconut oil was bay like it was bay i was just like i ain't using none else but coconut oil but now coconut oil don't work for my hair it makes my hair dry and it makes my hair break off and it makes my hair fall out so i was just like uh, not for me ever since i came up on this i recommend it to everybody everybody whom i have recommended this product to love it so i don't know if it has like this universal feel and it works for everybody but i would say try this first because it's not that expensive you can find it at target and at target and at sally's i'm trying to so y'all can see it you can find it at both of those places so get it anything spectacular i do spend a lot of money on products and that's only because i like to be educated on what i'm putting in my hair and i like to follow like the rays i'm a product junkie at heart i know that i have a problem but the first step is admitting it. I just did. <laughs> but I don't do anything spectacular to my hair. I have the same, um, you know, routine that I've been doing basically since I went natural when I was back in like the eighth grade. Been doing the same thing ever since then. So thank y'all so much for tuning in to my video. Make sure y'all subscribe. And oh yeah, I have a blog now. I put the stuff down in the description bar. Oh, <laughs>